we talk about rolling back the ears, discussing a range of cosmetic procedures available to transform your appearance, whatever your budget. Surprising new statistics reveal that for the first time ever, more British patients are having fat injected into their bodies than having fat removed from them by liposuction. Why? It's all to do with the booty. But what's that to do with beauty? And how do the risks involved weigh up against the potential benefits? Joining me now is Hello Magazine's beauty editor, Nadine Baggett, and plastic surgeon to the stars, Dr. Dirk Kramer. <laughs> Sneaking round the back. So, more fat going in, Dirk, than coming out. It's true. It's true. The first time the numbers exceed uh, the numbers of liposuction. Yeah. Heavens above. We're going to talk first, though, about bosoms. But I don't believe I'd ever say that, you know. <laughs> Can we talk about boobs? Because someone who really wants rather more than she's got at the moment is Jodie Smith. Jodie, come in. <laughs> you're very welcome. Now, here you are. It's lovely to have you with us. Now, you're not happy with... I, you know, I never thought when I was presenting Gardener's World that I would end up... <laughs> Saying to a bright young lady, you want rather more than you've got, because <laughs> normally I'll get a slap around the face. But this is the case that you don't think yours are big enough. No, I don't. But you're beautiful. Wouldn't people love you just the way you are? I hope so, but I feel very... I don't, I don't feel confident. I feel very uptight if someone looks at them, says no. something about them. But people don't remark on your boobs, surely. Is it you worrying that they might? That's the problem. I believe so, yeah. yeah. But and you see, lovely a, particular... Can I say it on TV? In a sexual way, I don't like anybody coming near them. Really? Yeah. Because, what, because they're so small? Yeah. you feel better if they were bigger? Yeah. Isn't this interesting? I mean... Very, very typical. I mean, all our patients have the same as a low self-esteem in cosmetic surgery. Modern cosmetic surgery is all about giving the patient self-esteem. Mm -hmm. That's why she's here. She's not doing it for anybody else. She's doing it for her. So, if... if you know, she wanted large. How, how big do you want to go? It's <laughs> another question. I'm going to get so tilled off by my wife when I get home. <laughs> There's a lady on the front row yeah. who's pointing at her. Which we can't get a camera on. <laughs> Mainly because we haven't got a wide angle lens. <laughs> However. <laughs> So, just let's... So the, the, do you see how... You're fine. You look lovely. And yet, what would you suggest, then, surgically? I would suggest that she's the perfect candidate for the traditional kind of breast enhancement with a breast implant. But people worry about these, you see, because they all went off pop in... in the, this the... is the problem. It's still the gold standard, and yeah. I like to do it with a split muscle technique, which guarantees natural result. Yeah. The problem was last year the PIP implants, yes. which was ter terribly wrong, but it was not about the technique itself. It was about what was a wrong used? implant. Right. Exactly. Are you nervous about having... You are nervous. It would be a bit scary. Slightly. Yeah. I'm more nervous standing on stage. Oh, you're fine. <laughs> you're <laughs> you're <laughs> lovely, and I'm keeping my eyes on your eyes, because I'm being very, very good. <laughs> Would it cost to have um, it done properly and safely? Breast augmentation is around five thousand, four and a half, five thousand pounds. That's a lot of Let's think of the other options. What are the other options? Well, Nadine? sadly, there isn't another option if you want your breasts to become larger. Cosmetic companies really can't produce anything. They might promise things in the back of magazines and strange ads, but the truth of the matter is, skincare companies will concentrate yep. on st strengthening and firming the skin, yep. so they can lift. A sort of slightly aging bosom, but on a young, beautiful okay. person. Right, but it's an uplift bra then, or it's get it's something. It's an uplift wrong. bra. I've got three products here that very, if you're very quickly. older, you can try, which is the Nip and Fab Bust Fixing Per Plumping Treatment 1625. <laughs> <laughs> good play on a name. There's good old cocoa butter here by Palmer's, around five pounds. Yeah. And then there's the Clarins Beauty Bust Firming Lotion, 37 pounds. It's about neck and hair. It's Fine. about keeping this area really healthy. I feel firm. as though I feel as though I'm living in a parallel universe at the moment. <laughs> We love you the way you are. If you want it done, it's going to cost you £5,000. Bless you. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Yes, thank you. OK, well, we then go on, because people worry about bottoms. Now, tell us about... Tell, it's getting worse, really, isn't it? It's really going downhill. Bottoms, what do people want there? 
people, lots of women dream of Jennifer Lopez or Kim Kardashian. A lot of men dream of Jennifer well, Lopez. Yes. <laughs> but again, women do it for themselves and yeah. not for their friends or husbands. Um, and to get that is almost impossible with fat transfer. Mm. You need an implant again, right. which is not such an easy, it's very complicated procedure and... Um, and expensive? Very expensive. How expensive for a bum a, lift? A, a bum implant, implant, in this case, yeah. it's really around seven and a half, eight thousand pounds. The risk to lose the implant due to yeah. infection in the healing phase is quite high. Me, I don't like to do it. Fine, okay, wear a dress, nobody will see him. <laughs> Nadine, can we get some alternative oh, here? Show us an alternative. Okay. okay. So, talking about Kim Kardashian, Kim Kardashian received live on her TV show having this. This is Bella Shape. I'd like to meet Dr. Dr. Ariel House. House. Love to see you. We have, and <laughs> we shouldn't ignore this lovely lady who's got a bottle out here. This Hello. is Charlotte. Don't smile that way unless you'd rather not. Thank you, Charlotte. Yeah. This is, is say again it's called Vela Shape. Vela Shape. This is um, a food and drug administration approved for the lifting and the firming of cellulite. It's like something by Black and Decker that I use on my wall. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it looks like. What it's doing inside is it's using high pressure to suck the fat and the skin up, and then it's delivering radio frequency firming, yeah. skin firming waves and infrared to actually release the Ooh, fat. Is that all right? Is it a bit, bit, bit painful? Like a deep hot massage. Deep hot massage, deep. Yeah. It looks as though it's going deep. <laughs> well, we gave you this, if you pardon the expression, <laughs> slightly before the programme, and we, so we did a before and after because it takes about 15 minutes. Yeah, is that absolutely. Right? We've got a before and after of Charlotte, who's actually got quite a small and I must say lovely firm <laughs> bottom. Yeah. We wanted to see if we could lift this bottom. So here's Charlotte before. Yeah. And let's have a look at her afterwards. There you go. Look at the difference wow, on that. Wow, that's amazing. That... And can I just say, that is the machine, but it's also the technique of Dr House, because he's de developed a way yeah. of moving it in a certain way to mimic a lifting bikini line. Yeah, Dr House, can you do anything with stomachs? Can you... <laughs> <laughs> you do. Up there. He can. Really? Yes. Ooh. This is a very popular te technique in Brazil. Yeah. Um, and a lot of people, before they go to the beach, yeah. also they go to the clinics to do Vela Shape. Yeah, heavens above. Dr. So House is from yeah. uh, Rio, where well, you do the whole body with this. Very, very quickly, how many times do you have to have this done? How frequently? You would need six of these at £200 per treatment. Right. Oh, so it's what? It's all considerably cheaper. Considerably yeah, cheaper, though, than, than, the, uh, than having, having the surgery. Absolutely. Um, we need to move on to, move lips. to lips. Dr. House, thank you. Thank you. To, to lips. <laughs> and time to meet. Sophie Zachary. Sophie. On you come, Sophie. Now, Sophie is concerned about her lips. They're going to be quite brief on this. So, Sophie's concerned about it. Why? They look perfectly fine to me. Well, I'm a firm believer that bigger is better, so uh, mm. I just need to be a bit more clumped up, I think. A bit more, but be careful, because we've seen people have terrible trouble with exactly. clumped up lips that have gone exactly. awfully wrong. And they end up exactly. looking like I don't know what. What, are you, what have you got in there? Actually, this is silicon implant, the latest tool to enhance lips. So you can... So these things here, it's bits of silicon, and they're implanted in the lips. Exactly. Oh, it must be awfully sore. Exactly. I prefer in you, in your first time, I, that we inject hyaluronic acid, dermal fillers, yep. just to see how you like it. And if you don't like it, this is a good thing, you can remove it with an enzyme in, in a few seconds. Safely? Very safely. Cost? Um, about £350. Right. And you've, Wow, lips. So that's the sort of surgery bit. Uh, well, surgery there are and then... so many makeup options here. We've got some lip plumping balms here. We've got Pure Pout Plumping Lip Gloss, £15. Smashbox Lip Plump, £17.50. And Soap and Glory Sexy Mother Pucker. I have to be careful how I say What we did earlier on was actually we took Sophie, we took a picture of her before without any makeup on at all. We use the lip plumping glosses and this really clever lip liner by Diego de la Palma, 13 pounds. Here's the before, yeah. this is purely makeup. Yeah. Here's the after. You see, I actually think that's quite an impressive result. The lips, lip, look, lips look fuller and firmer, and it costs £20, and you wash it off at the end of the day. Would you be happy with safe. that, rather, sir? Do you think they look pretty full to me? They, they're still tingling yeah. from the uh, products, and I think I'd stick with the temporary effect. I'm I think you're very it. wise, because it, I mean, it looks, looks fine to us, doesn't it, the way it is? Yeah. <laughs> so, just in case of being a little bit careful, bless your heart. If anyone at home is considering surgery or other treatments, please make sure you see your GP to seek appropriate advice. And 
visit a reputable practitioner whose work you've been able to inspect. Go and look at the work that's been done, then you can make sure you like it. And the face isn't all short and screwed up. <laughs> and if you'd like a live consultation with Dr. Dirk, please email us at alan at itv.com, making sure you send a photo and contact details. My thanks to Jodie, Charlotte and Sophie, Dr. Dirk, Nadine and all my guests today. Thank you very much. <laughs> Jonathan Ross and Davina McCall invite us to join them on their African adventure. Style queen Mylene Class reveals how to flatter your figure, whatever your size or shape. Plus, Dragon's Euro, Theopophetus, and Peter Jones. See you then. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs>